Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Once a month, I do this video series called UI News that just showcases new things within Ubiquity that don't warrant a full on video. So it's a bunch of different things all mashed into one. Ubiquity has made some changes to their website, which showcases some devices that we haven't seen before, and that hasn't been announced. And they also have this cloud gateway where we could actually see how much they could handle. So what the UDM Pro could handle and what the UDM SE or Dreamwalls or UDRs. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. We do have a Discord and I have affiliate links down in the description below. The first thing that we'll touch on is on the main site, ui.com, and it's in this beginning video. So we can see that we have a UDR here that's called New York, but there's something a little off about it. Down below, we could see that it's running the network controller, protect, and talk. As most of you know, you could only currently run two applications or two controllers on the UDR, but this is showing three. So maybe there's an update coming out that's going to allow us to run three controllers. Is that going to be really great on the UDR? Not too sure, but if it does come out, I will be testing it. Next, we'll take a look at the cloud gateway section, and this is all new. So it says experience the Unify Cloud plug and play site management, which is license free. We could scroll down and it's going to show us a bunch of different things. But if we want more information on a specific console, we can see the Dream Machine, the Dream Wall, and the Dream Router. Let's click on the Dream Machine. Clicking on the Dream Machine, it says a performance monster. We could see it says your IT supercomputer, and then it's showing us a bunch of different specs on it. Under management, the deploy time is about 10 minutes, and we could have 100 plus unified devices connected to this controller on the Dream Machine. We could also have 1000 plus devices. Now the rest of the stuff we kind of always knew that it could do 10 gigabit routing and only 3.5 if we have IDS or IPS turned on and 255 VLANs. We could also do two WAN connections, power redundancy, and we could see the storage, which is a 3.5 inch NVR HDD bay. Now I'm glad they added this in for the consoles. We didn't really know how many unified devices or clients they could hold before. We could always go to calculator.ui.com, but it didn't really tell us that information. And one other new thing on this page, which is really cool, which I've been waiting for for quite a while, if we scroll down, it says high availability. And this is coming soon with shadow mode, which I have no idea what that is, but hopefully it is a great high availability. If any of you have purchased the PDU Professional and you've seen the little star asterisk, it said virtual router redundancy coming soon. So I'm not too sure if they're getting away from that and now just focusing on this high availability with shadow mode, but we will see once it comes out. Now, another product that's being teased on their website, if we go under our door access and scroll down to the bottom, we're gonna see a new device. So on the left-hand side, this is our standard access hub but this is something new the enterprise access hub and you can see it's coming soon an enterprise grade door hub that supports up to eight entrance controls and eight access readers so to me this will be able to control eight doors and i really hope they come out with this sooner than later because this is what we have really needed if we're doing a ton of doors having eight different access hubs is going to take up so much room to have something a little more compact is going to be great. Now, I've already done a full different video on this, but this was teased at Wispapalooza 2023 in Las Vegas. And we have the new Unify Express, which is going to have Wi-Fi 6 2x2 built in, and it will have the network controller. There is another device too called the Next Generation Gateway Lite. And as you can tell, the Next Generation Gateway Lite looks pretty much similar to the new Unify Express. It has a one gigabit WAN, one gigabit LAN, compact footprint, and is powered by USB-C. This to me will be the USG replacement. I thought the Unify Express would be, but seeing as this doesn't have a controller built right in, we're gonna have it on a hosted controller or some sort of cloud key. Now, a couple new small products did release and there was an update to the Keystone patch panel. If you could tell, it now comes with the cable management bar. I do have one of these and I'm waiting for the other devices before I do a video on it, but every one you order should come with the cable management bar. And I did tell them about this a while ago that it should be added. The next new item that they released was the Keystone Blank Insert. And I know a lot of people were looking for this so that it would match all their Ubiquiti gear. It's the same silver as on their device. And they did release one more thing, which is the RJ45 dust cover. So it does look pretty nice. I don't have the Keystone Blanks or the dust covers yet as they're not available in Canada. But once they do, I'm gonna do a video on the Keystone patch panel 
the dust covers, and the blanks. Now, this next topic was posted in the community forums on the Ubiquity page. It says, UA Hub G4 Doorbell Pro Support. Will the UA Hub ever support the G4 Doorbell Pro PoE as the first class doorbell device in that ecosystem? I want to be able to use the G4 Doorbell Pro along with the UA Hub to unlock a door strike when someone is at the door. And the UI team responded, it is in our plans. For now, however, use the G2 Pro, which is their access reader. So it looks like they're going to have some integration between Unify Access and Unify Protect. And I think the doorbell being able to open a strike is going to be really cool. Now, a new update within Unify Talk is this phone designer. Create a phone design and apply it to one or more users for quick and easy mass provisioning of phones. So let's go ahead and create new phone design. Under here, we could say Cody, and then we could apply to whichever persons we have in here. I'm just going to put it to myself. Then we have our landscape wallpaper and we could upload or we could use one of the default ones. I already have my Mac telecom networks in there. If we scroll down a bit, we could see our ringtone and we could choose which one we want to use for the users within this design or we could upload our own. We could also say which phone apps that we have pushing to these phones. So if we click on the drop down menu, we could either have protect access or identity or we could have none of them at all. I currently have all of them on there. So now down at the bottom, you could see on the design, if this is pushed out to my phone, what it's gonna look like, we're gonna have the Mac Telecom logo. The only downside about this is the firmware for the phones isn't out yet. So it is for the unified talk controller, but we can't push it to the phones until that releases. Now, the last thing we'll talk about is Unify Network Application 7.5.187 has now been pushed to official. It was in release candidate, and if you have been waiting, you could update now. This features our PPSK or private pre-shared key, and I have a whole other video on that, which I'll put a link in the description below. Now, let me know down in the comments below what you're most excited for that's gonna be coming out. The Unify Express, the next generation gateway, or the new Enterprise Access Hub. To me, the Enterprise Access Hub is gonna be great as we have a bunch of door access jobs coming up. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.